So in 1906, they start having this race in Sicily. They call it the Targa Florio. In 1922, a Porsche design car called a Sasha wins Targa Florio. In 1960 through the 70s, Porsche begins to win Targa Florios in the Carrera. Then the commemorative edition, Targa. Now, you could be excused if you thought that Targa meant open top motoring, but really what it means is shield, as in the shield of Florio. Either way, it's a Porsche. It's gonna be a lot of fun to drive. Now here at Halton Place, if we turn right, this is what you see. If you turn left, this is what you see. Either way, it's gonna be a great day to drive the new Targa. Well, there's something you have to do every time you get into one of these cars, and of course, that's do the dash for the high-speed run. It's just like an old pair of shoes. It really doesn't matter which 911 you're driving. They're all exhilarating. First of all, rear-wheel drive. There's 320 horsepower on tap. When you're driving a Porsche Targa, Open top motoring is something that you want to know about. The Porsche front suspension is so crisp and so tidy. Railway tracks, well, they can be a bit of a problem and probably shouldn't be taken that quickly. Oh yeah, Porsches are a hoot to drive. The gearboxes are all sweet as candy, even if you go for the Tiptronic style. Once you've become used to a set of brakes like this, say, drive the car over the course of a couple of weekends, well, I'll tell you what, Getting back into a mere mortal streetcar can be a bit of a surprise. Now there comes a time, even though you've got all this history and all this story, comes a time when you ask yourself, do you need a car like this? Well, <laughs> well you don't need a car like this, but do you want a car like this? Oh yeah, you want a car like this.